English. He said war, and with respects to everybody, right? Because we all one flew over the cuckoo's nest. Welcome to the cuckoo's nest, Karen. You heard? He said war. You know you got to retitter it. Strength. That's not disrespecting nobody. It's just that people that have a mental issue have like a super duper strength. You ever seen that? I knew a kid in Sunset Park, Brooklyn. He used to bite. And you didn't want him to lock his jaws on you, son. Because a pit bull ain't have nothing on him, on his bite. This nigga wore a helmet and a muzzle. I'm like, oh, yo, hold your son because I'll punch the living daylights out of him. Oh, he has a mental issue. Me too. <laughs> Me too, nigga. Hold that nigga because we some mental motherfuckers up in this piece tonight. <laughs> You heard? Your son bites me, I'm going to throw him down a flight of stairs. Facts. Hey, let's see if that helmet works. <laughs> Are you bugging? <laughs> so check this out. Now that I say that, I be forgetting these stories. There's a true story. There's a blood dude in our hood. And we walking down the block, me and wifey. He said something to wifey. So I let him talk because I be walking separate from my girl. I got to stop doing that, but I do that on purpose so dudes can say something. And then I'm like, what up? You get it? So we in the hood. We buy it. As a matter of fact, we not even in Brooklyn that day. It's, this is when I was staying in Southside, Jamaica, like hard body. Remember, I'm born and raised in Brooklyn, but I be in every borough. This facts. Shout out to... <laughs> Shout out to King Dusty. I was just with him in the Bronx. Shout out to the Blood GB. I was just with him in the Bronx. Shout out to Dollar. Everybody chase on the block on 163, 161. The whole crew, you heard? Oh, 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 oh. But anyway. The Blood dude says something to Wifey. So Wifey's stepping to him now. She's like a warpath, but like a girl, right? So she's like, ah. I come up. I said, what up, son? Blah! Smack fire out of him. Some run down the block to the bloods on my block. But I live on that block. But people don't really see me on that block because I was selling the place. I'm the connect on the block, right, at that time. But they sell bud. They get mad money with bud. But I had like two or three dudes that was getting mad plates for me and a dude that was working for me at that time with the plates, the eights. You know how we do, right? <laughs> so anyway, boom. I smacked the shit out of homie. Blah! So a lady screams out and says, yo, he has mental issues. I said, me too, because I went to hit him with the can of dog food I had in the bag, right? And, you know, I hit you with this can, I'm going to split you. You get it? But once I seen he was going to get people and he tried to act like he was grabbing the horn, I chased him down with the bag. I said, I'm going to mock him one time and drop him and hospitalize him. I got to to stop him, you heard? Because you don't never know who he's calling. He may be calling another one flew over the cuckoo's nest that's on the run for three homicides. And it's like, I'm going to jail anyway. You can't underestimate nobody. But he runs down the block to the bloods that's my people's. You get it? So I'm like, nigga, who, who you going to get over here? What up? Now I went down there where he's at. I'm like, who you calling over here? What up, son? What up? Nobody gives a fuck that you blood, son. What up, nigga? No, that shit don't apply to me, son. Facts. So he was like shook. He's, he's hiding behind niggas. Like, I'm like, but you want to be tough with a girl. Something was popping. Right? So then I think it was uh uh, uh it was Kyle or my or my dude Smiley. One of the bloods was like, yo, well, leave that nigga alone, man. He bugged out. But uh uh my the blood dude told me, yo, but you right though. Some be looking for beef. I said, I smacked fire out that nigga, bro. Fuck out of here. But none of the bloods helped them. Like, you crazy. I didn't even give. It don't even matter if they did. Like, facts. <laughs> you heard? I, I, I'm a different type of dude, <laughs> homie. That shit don't apply to me. I'm not scared of no gang members or because you in a gang. It's just like, oh, what up? We going to beef again? What up? <laughs> Do over. <laughs> like, <laughs> you serious? But if you cool, you cool. If you violate, you get violated. Point blank. He violated. But I hate dudes like that. You do something. Now you're trying to run to your little gang. Like, they're going to do something. You caught the right one. You get it? I'm like that. I like dudes that be like, all oh, these Puerto Rican niggas or try to find. I'm like, what up, son? Who you talking to? You heard? Because these are different type of Puerto Rocks over here, boy. Like, I'm not running from you. I'm coming towards you. <laughs> you get it? Like, yeah. So, boom. This shit. We get MO quick. We go from being like, ha, 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 to boom. Oh, shit. What up? Shit done. Shit got different. You heard? The look, the demeanor, the movement. Everything is like, ah, ah. 
Everything is different now. Now we cool, yo, son. I wasn't even talking to you, blood. You bugging, homie. I'm bugging now, right? Now I'm homie. <laughs> I get it, boy. So I'm always good with that. As long as the dude got to eat that, and he be like, I'm not even talking to you. I'm good. I leave it alone because I used to not. So we got to know when to leave things alone because sometimes I'll be walking and I'm acting like I got my head for somebody say something. I'm like, yo, dogs, what you say? You talking to me? And son is like, nah, 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 you bugging, homie. I ain't even talking to you. You can't keep on. You heard? Because I used to keep on. You feel me? You can't keep on because he got to feel like a bitter around all his friends that he had to say, I'm not even talking to you. When dudes know that he was. That's a hard pill. Oh, son shuts you the fuck up. You get it? Especially when I be, I be in, on, on a certain block and it be different gang members. I'll be like, you better ask homies about me over here, boy. Like, you better ask your, your, your gang, nigga, <laughs> about me, nigga. You heard? Like, you bugging times 10. So, you know, never showing off, but it is what it is. Whoever knows me will tell you, boy's not even lying. And you better hope that I'm sober. Because if I'm high, it's a different type. You're going to get even worse. <laughs> Facts. <laughs> Don't let the high shit confuse you. That's when I'll do it to you. <laughs> word. And I won't even remember. I'll be like, oh, word, that shit happened? That's crazy, V. The cops are looking for me? That's crazy. <laughs> let me make a YouTube video, though. <laughs> nah, but yo, that's a true story. Some was acting tough. I'm like, who the fuck bring that clown home, bro? This is what I'm saying. It was being easy for anybody to become... Any gang for numbers, like, come on, you want to be a soldier? Come on, crash dummy. Come on, bro. I smacked fire out of him. Ain't nobody helping him, trust me. I wish a dude would. <laughs> yeah, so he must have felt stupid. Like, that day you found out, like, the gang wasn't with you. <laughs> they was with war, and I was in a whole different thing, you heard? Facts. This wasn't even too long ago, homie. This wasn't even... Anyway, but this wasn't even too long ago, bro. But again, I say all that to say that people play crazy so they could get away with things. Nah, you can't get be letting people get away with things. Loco, me too. Me too, nigga. Me too. What you mean he's loco? I'm loco too. Oh, well, he got a mental issue. All right, me too, bro. What's up? You bugging. Nah, bro. Oh, and the lady said, I, 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 I freak, I lied here because I was so mad. The lady said, he, he's homeless. He lives in the YMCA. He ain't got nowhere to live. I said, as a matter of fact, he does got somewhere to live. He's staying in the YMCA. I stay in these streets. <laughs> and my girl's like, you don't stay in these streets, you fucking liar. I was like, shut up. That homeboy's going to rock you if I didn't come save you, boy. <laughs> Word. And I didn't like that, you heard? Because, you know, I love all people. I don't care what you are. Like, I just came from the Bronx from hanging out with black brothers and all that all the time. Most of my friends are black. But don't violate and think you tough because you black, homie. Because that shit don't hold no weight where I'm at or, or the way I live, you heard? I'm going to give it to you. <laughs> Twice because of that. Like, I hate people that be like, oh, these Puerto Rican niggas or this, or a girl be like, oh, this Puerto Rican bitch think who she is. What? Now nah, I'm rocking you. Why you have to mention anything about Puerto Ricans, bro? Now I'm going to give it to you, you heard? Like it's 93 or 92 all over again. Facts. <laughs> Hard. Like you bugging, right? Because I don't live that way. So you live that way, you got to go because you really no good. So I still got a lot of that shit in me. You heard facts. I'm going to keep it a stack. I'll give it to you, bro. I'll give it to you. I never want to change that about me. A lot of people be like, yo, this nigga old don't grow up, right? Because, like, my family. Call. It's not about grow up. I've been grew up. I past grew you. And when it comes to doing productive things and living like a productive member of society, when it comes to intelligence, I surpassed you in a massive, enormous amount of growth. But there's certain things about myself that I never want to let go, that I never want to change. And that's one of them. Facts.
I could be 100 years old, boy. I'm going to walk the same, talk the same. Ain't nothing going to change. You violate the old man, you get it from the old man. You heard? It's just point blank, period. Like, the way we dress, I'm never going to change that because this is me. It's a lifestyle. It's a way of life. It's me. I could see if you was fake and you really grew up your whole life, even since a teen, wearing tight button 